over the last months, I have received multiple messages from you guys asking me to go and take a look at Starship Simulator. Today's video is sponsored by Secret Lab. We all strive for the best possible gaming experience, but the importance of a good quality chair is often underestimated. Secret Lab produces some of the most comfortable and high quality gaming chairs you can get. So upgrade your commander chair today and fly in style and comfort. Follow the link in the video description to their store, type in your height, your weight, and it will tell you which chairs fit you for the best possible seating experience. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Starship Simulator. Now I'm just gonna make my way down to the bottom where we actually have the reaction. I wanna start down in engineering but this is by no means a finished game. This is a one-man indie project, project but it does something quite cool and it's important also to mention that this is not a space sim. It is a Starship Simulator which is different that because it's not necessarily as much about exploring space as it is to managing a starship and just make our way around to the door we're into engineering there we are okay so now we are in engineering and one of the things that this game does that i think is pretty cool is we can go look at these panels for instance you can see we can see that these it's online we can see the power or could we see the, the the load itself but it's not just that you need to manage and if you draw too much power the thing's going to shut off or anything like that you see all power that's routed every display every lamp is all wired and the wires have a purpose like they are the they're, they're simulated that the wires need to be there and 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 it just shows the, like the the intention intention to details that as is intended to go into this as i said this is alpha stage tech demo stuff level that we're dealing with here so far from far from done yet let me see we are at the uh what do we have here we had deck f distribution panel for the port side i think that is the one that's I think that's a port side out there. So if we go or we disconnect the lights from this one. Oh, there we go. And the light turns on out in the corridor. Oh, hello. Go like that. And 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 just like that, you can go around and you can you can basically control every single screen, every single monitor, every single lamp in the game. It's all simulated as the power is running around. And if I can find my way here. Oh yeah, here we go. So you can see all these wires, a lot of the panels are not in here. So you can see how all the wires are routed in here through different distribution blocks and stuff like that. And we can even take and crawl into the Jeffries tubes here, where again we have the power wires all running here along the wall. And the idea is that the ship can be damaged and by power could be out in the corridor. And now it's your job as a mechanic to basically go and figure out how all of these wires connect and figure out, trace the wires back through all these tunnels and, and, and engineering spaces and figure out what is broken. Go and look at all these panels, go fix it. So if you ever like watch Star Trek and it's like, oh, I would really like to be one of those guys down in engineering that just fixes spaceships all day. then I think this could be something for you. And I am about to get lost here. Hold on, are we, is this out? I think this is out. Okay, top floor, we get into a lounge bar kind of area and that takes us further up. And in here we have a conference room. Oh, look at that. Screen projection, so you can... Oh, I love that. So you can basically turn that on to a, a nice outside view of a of an autumn, like, little park. That would actually make a ton of sense if you're on a spaceship. Sometimes I'd be able to get something. Can we change this to other things? Forest. Misty forest. Rocky deserts. I like that. Can we, the chair seems to work as well. Sit in the chair. Whee! Can we can we do something with the muck? We can pick up the muck. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, hold on, can we? Okay, it's now forever lost in space. Goodbye, Mark. Got an office. Mocks go into space. There we go. Books. Into space with you. Ooh, fancy tablet. Into space you go. Potted plant. You're coming with me. Okay. Ooh, metal globe. Oh, that's all over the place. Okay, we're back on the bridge. Okay. <laughs> can we... S Ooh, there's all kinds of places we can sit. Command chair. And command chair. Hold on, can we control the ship, actually? I mean, we know we can fly it. I found the uh, 
condition normal. Yellow alert. Ooh, everything goes yellow. Red alert. Emergency lighting. <laughs> Disco mode. Party at the cockpit or party at the bridge. Alien virus. Oh no, there's one here that seems to be working. Let's see what this one does. Targets, no targets. Galactic position B. Stellar regions. Oh, oh hold on. What happened to my view? Hold on. Oh, the window is shot. How do they do that? It's like all the like the shuttles now. Ooh, and I get a map in here. Hold on. Ray shields, lower shields. Ah, so it does work. Look at that. We get blast shields. Okay. So I, I was, you can fly the ship from up here and I, I flew out to Saturn. Um, but I never figured out how to actually set a target, but it makes sense that the helm is not the one setting the, the, the target. That's probably done here by the navigation. So let's say that we want to head to Sol, head into to the Sol, and now that is set as a target. And we can also get a hollow view, we can change the hollow view. We get a star system view there. Ooh, okay, now, oh, uh, okay. Oh, this is complicated. Um, we can scan the target, but I need to send it to Helm. So I need to send the target over so that the Helm seat here has the target. No. Oh, right. I guess galactic coordinates X, Y, Z, 0 doesn't really make sense. Also distance, yeah, that's Sagittarius. We're currently locked on to Sag A. Hold on. Okay, so after I send the target over to the, to the Helm position, I need to set... Click. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I need to then click um use sensor target so i now need from the sensor station i need to say i need to pull the target that was set over there pull it over here to the helm and now we have coordinates so if i um engage auto navigation yes there we go because i can sit and control the um uh like the the, the fast and light travel systems up here and i can like your pitch roll is controlled down here but I never managed to get auto navigation to work. That makes a lot of sense now. Okay, I think that worked. At least it seems like that we are now in fast and light travel mode. Oh yeah, look at our speed there. 50C, 100C. Are we stopping? I think we're stopping. Hello, sun. Okay, let's try Earth. Send to Helm. See, I need I need a I need a second second officer here. And pick target. Engage FTL. Max. Oh, oh. Oh, no, I'm flying into a star. This could be bad. Okay, it's, we're okay. Okay. <laughs> and there is Earth. Can we roll this a bit? I wonder, now that we are playing around the cockpit. Hold on, what is this? Bridge, open door. Oh, can we close the door and lock it? Coke too short. One, 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 one. Lock. Door locked. Now you can't get out. Unless you want to unlock it, which we can't because the code is incorrect. So we can set the code to one, 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 one and unlock. Door verification closed. And the door works. We can change the door mode from auto manual to auto. Privacy mode. Ooh. There's a lot of more stuff in here than I know than I, than I realized. Like small things. Let's just try to go to our stellar region. Let's go for Alpha Centauri, and we're gonna send that to the helm. Run up to the helm. We're running double duties here, working overtime. We're gonna use the target, use sensor target. Four point five AU. Engage, auto navigation. And you can kind of imagine that once this game gets to a state where all the different panels and everything is working, all you would really need is some very like basic mission that would just be go here, then pick something up, and then go back. Because the game is not necessarily all the stuff you do with the ship, it's all the stuff you do inside the ship. And you would have to have a proper crew 
to man most of these stations. You would have to have people down in engineering to route power where you need it and when you need it and all that stuff. I could see this being a really, really fun group activity for for a number of people. My only concern is like with the number of seats, you're going to need a lot of people to get full potential out of the game. And that's not always easy to uh, easy to gather. But as I said, Starship Simulator, if you want to go and explore this for yourself, try it out, then it is on Steam. You go check it out. But that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time. I will see you guys in space.